go in this Bible to give you a solution. But right now, today, that time is up. There's no more I'm giving you lies. We're not average. We're not black. We're not Jamaican. So we're supposed to give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. What have we seen any change? Yeah. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? So I'm no, but I'm at you. I'm at you. No. But that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Right, but, I, but I, what I'm Listen, 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 listen. Being pure was on both angles. The person had to be pure. That, that's the language is going to be pure. Nobody spoke that. Watch this. I'm going to say something. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let's go. We're gonna get there. Let's see what, what uh, Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms 19 and 7. What says be perfect? Let's see. Let's see what about. Yeah, right, 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 right. We, 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 we're gonna see. We're gonna see what makes you perfect. A language does not make you perfect. Speaking the Hebrew does not make you perfect. Right. We, we don't see what made Abraham perfect. Right. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law, the law of the Lord is perfect. The law is what makes you perfect. Speaking God's laws is what makes you perfect. Right. Speaking the Hebrew does not make you perfect. Right. Read on, read on. Converting. Converting. What's the name, brother? What's the name? What's the name? Gabriel? Gabriel? All praises. I'm, I'm going to let you speak, Gabriel. I'm going to let you speak. <laughs> the law of the Lord is perfect. No, no, you good. You good. You good. They just doing their job. They doing their job. Go ahead. Converting the soul. So the law is what makes you perfect. The law is what changed, a, uh, changed Abraham to being Abram to the most I changed him to Abraham because he was proven. His faith was proven. His works and everything. Go ahead. No, listen, listen what I'm saying. They were speaking in Hebrew. I'm, I'm not denying that. But when they when God says the pure language, that's something that nobody has spoken. Well, watch this. Get, get, get me uh, the name that no man knows. Watch this. I'm going to say something. I'm, I'm going to say something. Watch this. Great. Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from, from God, my God. And I will write upon him my new name. So even the Messiah says, when we get to the kingdom, I'm going to have a new name, a man that no man never know. No man knows the name. Watch this. He that have an ear, he that have an ear, let him hear. So the Messiah say, this name that I'm going to have in the kingdom, nobody knows it. Nobody can even speak it. That's because get, get holy children. Get three holy children. Let me tell you Get the three holy children. Verse 6, I think it is. Let me show you something. This is why he said that. The book of the song of the three holy children. Verse 3. Bless art thou, O Lord God of our Father. Thy name is worthy to be praised. It says, Thy name is worthy to be praised. With and glorified forevermore. So the Mosai's name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. The reason why Christ is going to give us a new name is because we ourselves are too wicked to even utter his real name. That's why he got to give us his true name in the kingdom where there's no sin. Right, but, but, but that's what we are here teaching. We are here teaching our people solutions on how to get off of drugs. Right. How to stop uh, whoring out their women. Right. How the women need to submit to their man and, and be a pool of rest. Right. That's what we're teaching. We're not out here saying you got to call him Jesus Christ. I'm not fighting with you on that. 
we said that it's more than it than the name. The name is a little is a, is, is a, is a little portion. The bigger portion is keeping God's commandments. The bigger portion is obedience. You want to call him Yahweh, brother? All praises. You want to call him Yahweh, Shai Gabriel? All praises. You want to call him Yahweh? All praises. Are you keeping God's laws? That's the question. Read that. So, so you got that? Psalms 140 of my word. 142 and 8. Let's get that, man. How you doing, brother? Oh, praise. We out here teaching our people who they are according to the Bible, all right? Just, just listen, just listen. You gotta, nah, yeah, he just listen. I'm, I'm going to deal with you, Gabriel. We're going to deal with you. Psalms 142. 142 and 8. Wait. Psalms 138. Watch this, Gabriel. Verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple. And praise thy name for thy love and kindness. Oh, to go to name. Praise thy name for thy love and kindness. Watch this. And for thy truth. For thou hast magnified. Thou hast magnified. What does magnify mean? You know what magnify means, brother? To make bigger. Absolutely. To make bigger. God made bigger. But thou hast magnified thy word. Thy word. Remember in that revelations. He had magnified thy word. Above all thy name. So that's what is going to point, Gabriel. The word or the name? Which one? Read it again. Read it again. You be rebellious right now, Gabriel. Read it again. Read it again. For thou hast magnified. What does magnify mean, brother? He made bigger. Ain't that clear? It's common sense. He made bigger. Right. Thy word. He made bigger his word, his commandments, right. his statutes, right. his judgments. Right. They were made more important above all, above all, thy name. The name is not important, brother. That's right. Keeping God's commandments is the key. That's right. The solution is keeping God's commandments. That's right. The solution to drugs, to rape, to homosexuality right. is keeping God's commandments. That's right. Leviticus 21 and 5. We're going to get some commandments for the name. Read that. The Vinicus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. No, but all I, if I call in the name, I'm going to be parted for this sin, right? They shall not make boldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave of the corner of their beard. The Most High God, the Father, said that we ain't supposed to be shaving our beard. Are you keeping that commandment? Bring that again. It's bigger than the name, Gabriel. It's bigger than that. We got to keep God's commandments. That's right. Read, on. Read it again. They shall not make this is in the Torah. This is in the Torah. Read. They shall not make boldness. Right now I am. Yes. Read on. Upon their head. God says you ain't supposed to bold your head. Neither shall they say. Of the corner of their beard. Gabriel, this is the least commandment that God gave to his people. This is the least commandment that the Father gave to you. Right. So why are you not keeping it? It's the least commandment, Gabriel. That, no, I, I'm not trying to uh, 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 embarrass you, nothing like that. What I'm showing you is that the word is greater than the name. Get that, uh, Lord, Lord. I'm going to show you. Read. Why, watch this. Watch this, Gabriel. Why, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. So people gonna know the name. People gonna say Yahweh, Yahweh, right. Yahweh, Yahweh, right. Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Shai. Right. People gonna say that that day, Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in Thy name? Did not tell the people that your real name was Yahweh, right. Ahia? Right. Did we not say that, Lord? Right. Right. And in Thy name, in Thy what? Thy name, in Yahweh. Have cast out devils. We cast out devils. Devils in your name, Lord. Right. Read on. And in thy name. And in thy name. Here we go. Done many wonderful works. We did many works in the name of Yahweh. We did many works in the name of, of Ahia. Yahweh Shah. Read. And then what I profess unto them. I never knew you. Christ said he never knew you. That's right. This is why. Is he going to say because you said the wrong name? Right. Watch this. Depart from me. Leave from my sight. Do that work iniquity. What is iniquity, Gabriel? What is iniquity, brother? Do you know? 
um, like separation. Separation. So what separates us? But this is what I'm saying. The name. If you want to say the name, all praises to the Most High. But if you ain't keeping God's laws, you gonna die when Christ come back. That's right. You gonna die when, when Yahweh shot come back. Right. You gonna die when Ahia come back. Yahweh right. come back. Right. Whoever who you want the name to come back. If you ain't keeping His commandments, you're going to die. That's right. That's the gospel. That's the message. Right. Keeping the commandments of God and everything else will come. Right. So go ahead with your question. It's not my way, Gabriel. Isaiah 820. Isaiah, it's not my way. Gabriel, Gabriel, all we need is the Bible. All we need is the sentences books, and then we got the, how many in the Bible? For 16? 13 in the Bible, but it's all we need. All we need is the Bible. King James Version. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. To the law. To the what? To the law. This is Isaiah. To the law. And to the testimony, and to the testimony, talk about the prophets, Moses, Abraham, uh, uh, Isaac, Jacob, to the testimony. According to this word, God says that they ain't teaching the laws and the testimony. It is because there is no light in them. That's because their heart is full of darkness, full of deceit, full of sin. That's why we are here teaching God says thou shalt not commit adultery. God says thou shalt not break the Sabbath. God says thou shalt not uh, uh, commit whoredom. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. That's what we teach in God's laws. Now, if you want to say Yahweh Shah, all praises. To the best of our ability, yes. To the best of our ability, Gabriel. So you waiting on that to leave. You was waiting on me to tell you that we all said for you to leave. Hey, repent, brother. Repent and be converted, Gabriel. It's, it, 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 it's, it's more to it than the name. You got to keep God's commandments. You got to keep the laws of God or you will die here in Babylon the Great. That's the truth. Repent, brother. Come on. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and podcast and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.